Hello everyone, welcome to Online Engineering by SJ. Today we will discuss about the theory of structures, viva questions. First is assumptions in the portal frame method. What are the assumptions in the portal frame method? Portal frame method may sirf do hi assumptions rate. One is the point of contraflexor. Point of contraflexor lies at midpoint at midpoint of each column means uh, where the moment is zero and there is no deflection there it lies point of control flexor at the midpoint and another uh, assumption is that and another assumption is that uh, the intermediate columns have the shear force 2p 2p and outer columns outer columns have only P shear force means the shear force in intermediate column is double of outer columns. Next is stability. Stability is defined as the ratio of deflection by force. Now point of contraflexor means where the moment is equal to zero. That is known as point of contraflexor. It lies in the middle of column. Now safe factor safe factor is defined as the ratio of plastic moment divided by the yield moment means mp upon my shear force it is basically the sum of all the vertical forces bending moment sum of all the moments that are occurring in the beam that is known as bending moment determinate and indeterminate beam or we can say at uh, indeterminate or determinate structures determinate structures determinate structures are those which have number of unknown forces unknown forces is equal to 3 means uh, they can be solved by 3 equation sigma h is equal to 0 sigma v is equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 that is known as determinate structures and indeterminate structures which have unknowns greater than 3 that is known as indeterminate indeterminate structures relative stiffness i by l it is i by l in the beam or frame sinking there is a caution a b beam in which a point load of 60 kilo newton is applied at the midpoint so its uh, moment will be minus wl by 8 minus 6 e i del divided by l square here e is young modulus i is moment of inertia and del is deflection divided by length of the span and its square these are some of the important viva questions for theory of structures thank you keep subscribing keep watching thank you